question. Thank you. And it's to ask the Minister about the extent of the engagement he's had with the community workers in Dublin Central in relation to the social inclusion community activation programme, his views on the stress and the difficulties that the new tender process created for them, and if he can assure them that the essential work that they do will not be jeopardised. Thank you, Minister, uh, Deputy Minister. Yep. Thank you. Um, my department's local and community development uh, programme, LCDP, is the largest social inclusion intervention of its kind in the state and has been implemented on a transitional basis until the end of March 2015, pending the rollout of the new social inclusion and community activation programme called SICAP on the 1st of April 2015. In accordance with the Public Spending Code, legal advice, good practice internationally, and in order to ensure the optimum delivery of services to clients, SICAP is subject to a public procurement process. Uh, and um, at the stage, tenderers have been now informed of the outcome of their tender. And local community uh, development committees, the LCDCs, are in the process of issuing uh, contracts to the successful tenders and we're now in that standstill period. The public procurement process was a competitive process that was open to local development companies, other not for for profit community groups, commercial firms and national organisations that could provide the services to be tended for to deliver the new programme. Public information events were held at stage one to ensure that interested parties could apply. In addition, detailed weekly questions and answers were published and circulated to interested parties. The SICAP programme design was open to consultation with representatives of the community and voluntary sector who were afforded ample opportunities to feed into the programme framework. Indeed, groups within the sector have, com have commended elements of the programme design with respect to the underlying community developing principles and cross-cutting horizontal themes. In the meantime, my department have continued to ensure that LCDP services for the communities in the Dublin central area have been maintained in a coordinated manner through LCDP interim funding arrangements until the 31st of March 2015. My department has consulted with Dublin City Council to find a workable solution for transition thereafter and I am glad to confirm that funding of 0.6 million outside of and separate to SICAP is being provided to the Dublin Central groups concerned pending agreement with Dublin City Council and the Local Community Development Committee, the LCDP, on an optimum delivery mechanism for the area. This funding is entirely separate to the 0.63 million which is being provided to the Dublin Central area under SICAP. Thank you, Minister. Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan. Thank you very much, and it is welcome news what is happening for Dublin Central. But I do think, you know, the, a meeting with the Minister where he could have listened directly to them without giving any commitments, I do think it would have eased some of the stress and difficulties that they have been going through for the past few months. I would reiterate that the areas that they're dealing with have higher than the national average when it comes to unemployment figures. They have bigger numbers of lone parents than anywhere else, and disadvantaged families, and significant areas of poverty and deprivation. We have massive housing issues because we have huge numbers living in local authority or in private rent accommodation. And we also have issues as they emerge, for example, the open and very blatant drug dealing on the streets. And it's the community projects who are dealing with those issues as they emerge. Um, it's very welcome what is happening for the, the Dublin Central, but it will mean, um, could mean job losses in other areas. And it would be regrettable that the experience of community workers in other areas could be um, my question would be, how long for the new programme um, is funding guaranteed? Thank you, Minister. Um, funding is, um, it begins on the uh, 1st of April with the rollout of the SICAP. It's just to assure the Deputy, I met with the public representatives. When you are doing a tendering process, it's not possible to meet directly with the people who will be involved in that tendering process. We've been through uh, these uh, situations before. I know the hiatus that they occurs. I know all about the uncertainty. 
particularly when you are dealing with communities and particularly, uh, you know, people who may not be, um, you know, have great expertise in the tendering process. And I understand the huge concern that it causes. I have met with the officials almost on a daily basis, taking on the concerns on board about uh, these projects. The Dublin area is, you know, it's, you know, it's particularly, you know, a complex area as well. But the deputy can be assured, you know, that, you know, I am there, we are there, the department is there to look at particular uh, issues, you know, that might rise outside of the process. Thank you, and there are particular projects of special concern that we have given funding to. So, you. you know, we are, we are certainly taking the concerns on board. Thank you, Sullivan. Um, one point I would make regarding the inner city is that they did not have a partnership, so they were in a different situation from other areas. That's the only point I would make about, about them. There are still concerns that community development is going out to private tendering and it's being privatised. And there's the danger there is that all of the expertise can be, could be lost and that really, while we all accept we have to get value for money, Community projects and programmes and community development cannot be just economic-led. It has to be led on the basis of social justice. Um, and the other uh, concern, I think, is that with the new process, will there be unnecessary levels of bureaucracy? Because the projects are under considerable strain with the, the, the services that they are providing to lone parents, affordable childcare, second chance education and training, and dealing with issues as they emerge. So they could do without, as is happening in other areas, a lot of levels of bureaucracy. Thank you. Minister, to conclude. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Ken Corda. And it's just to say, I know that the big concern all about the tendering process was that private companies would be able to come in and uh, win the tenders. That didn't happen. 44 out of the 50 companies uh, won the SICAP um, programme. Um, now, we are looking at, um, you know, for people who are outside it, and I take your point about the leader uh, partnership in Dublin, and we are looking and working with the county councils, looking under the new LCDC structure to see that people who may be, who don't fit in particularly into the whole SICAP area, that how their concerns can be addressed. But I think they are things that we will just have to see and deal with them as they arise. I think that's the, the only way we can Thank do you. it. Thank you.